Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm just getting my uh, timer going here. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is Sherry and I'm working on my cookbook journal today. So I wanted to just go ahead and uh, turn the camera on. I did a little bit of work off video and I made the envelope out of the sewing pattern envelope. Um, I remade that yesterday. So I'll show you where I'm at. Let me show you what I added so far. Not a lot. So I'm going to add some more today. But uh, I said uh, when I when we worked on the pages before, oh, I added this large index card. It's an old uh, index card. Like It looks vintage. It looks old. And it's very large. So it's the perfect spot to put it. So you have some writing room here. It fits in here nicely. I added uh, this little milk cap here. It actually had part like the old cap and the in the center here and I just sewed it onto this uh, scrapbook paper here the scrapbook paper is there's nothing printed in here it's all from actual scrapbook paper bought from the store you know the kit I showed you um, Echo Park that I had bought it Tuesday morning so real pretty uh, scrapbook paper and then uh, let's see what else did I add uh, over here I added uh, this little divider page and it's uh, it's a rather large, you know, like index card divider, but it's a large one for the larger size index cards and file. And I put this little pocket on here. It's actually a little pocket. Let me find a little card I can show you. But um, yeah, this I cut from a shirt. See, that will something will fit down in there. <laughs> so yeah, I had a found a gingham shirt like this at the store and cut it apart and it had a couple of pockets and here's the button right here it's actually on um, both sides of the pocket but this <clears throat> this um don't think i could get it undone or something about it where i didn't want to unbutton it let me see let me see what it does here <laughs> um earlier i was looking at it, i was like i can't oh it does open okay so actually you can open that little button you've got a pocket there and then i left it open behind it where it has another pocket so that's actually a double pocket but I'm going to leave that closed and buttoned and then I'll put something in there so I did that and then I put another little milk cap here now this is one of the pages that we did together it was a divider page from this cookbook but um, the tab was very uh, tattered and bent and you know kind of pretty um, grungy so I just cut it off and said I would add a new tab so that's what I did here with this uh, little milk cap there I added that as a tab and then you saw this and this let's see anything else that you haven't seen oh here I added another tab this is another page where we cut off the tab and you know divider page and I didn't want to cover any of this up right here I just really think this is pretty so I went ahead, this is just some recipes over here. So this is a coaster that I added right here. I just sewed it on, as you can see, with some zigzag, zigzag stitching and sewed it onto this. So that is the tab on that one. And then let's see, oh, here's the envelope that we did together. I decided to go ahead and just, you know, we made it nice and sturdy with the extra paper, the cardstock inside. So it's very thick now and sturdy. And I just went and put some holes in it right there. So it is a envelope right here. You can see the aprons here. And then it opens on this side and we can put something in there. So that I think that turned out really cute. <clears throat> and then this, this is the last divider page that we cut off the tab. We had cut off three of them. And this one I added, this was from that shirt too, a piece of that shirt. <laughs> and it was a, a double piece that was sewn together. So I think maybe it's from the, I don't know if it's from the collar or from the, front where the buttons were or something but anyway a nice double layer of this gingham fabric here that I just sewed on here as a tab so that is where I'm at so I was looking I uh, went through the um, scrapbook paper and got the cut aparts and I've cut some of those apart here and I want to use some of these uh, what I'm going to do is around the corners like this I think it, they look good with the corners around it see how nice that looks and it was um, this particular page um, was uh, or these cut aparts were on the back of the front cover of the paper pack like you know it came in this little plastic thing here and they're all separate they're not a paper pad 
they're separate pieces of paper when it comes like this. But, um, so this was in the front and it had, you know, like the sample pieces and the name of the scrapbook paper, Echo Park and all that kind of stuff. And so, uh, that was, you know, on the back of these. So I took apart in, in this kit, there was, there is some, uh, cardstock, just some solid cardstock. So I decided to take one of those and I just glued it all over the back of that. And then I cut it up so that there would be writing space on the back and just not random whatever was on that cover piece. You know what I mean? So, and I did that and I, then I rounded the corners on some of these and I'm going to finish that out. I'll do that probably off video. I don't need to do that right now. So I'm working on that. Um, I've got my pieces here that I made in the stencil collab uh, last Friday. So in case I need to put something down somewhere as a little decoration, I can do that. I just want to keep those handy. I've got all those right here. A little spatula and the fork and the spoon. <laughs> so some fun pieces. And then I wanted, I still want to add some more pages. I don't think there's enough pages in there yet. Uh, so I'm going to, we're going to add some pages and I was going to show you also. So I've got those pieces handy and these pieces handy. And then my scraps here. Of course, I always keep those handy. And I'm going to um, cover these. These are the pushover parts that were, you know, one was in the front and one was in the back of the uh, cookbook. They're from this cookbook. I'm going to cover those. I'm going to get my tissue. Uh, I'm going to cover these with some of these scraps. So, um, you know, like this right here, I could cover this whole piece. And maybe we might do that on video if we have time today, but I'll show you. These are a little bent, so that's going to make it a little weird because I have to glue it. I'm going to see if I can flatten these out a little bit actually right now. Maybe I'll put them under a book overnight or something because it would be easier if these were flat to glue a piece of paper. I've done this before and it wasn't bent like that. So, uh, and it was easy before, but now that these are just that with that curve, it might be a little weird. I mean, I, yeah, I know it can be done. I just would rather it be a little bit more flatter. And I don't want to, these seem like very flexible. So it's not like I can't try to bend them back and they're not going to crack or anything like that. They feel, they're not plastic. They're um, kind of a really thick cardstock, you know. So they're already starting to flat out, flatten out with just me doing this right here. So yeah. That's going to be good. Okay, that's a lot better already. <laughs> I feel better already. Okay, so that's the plan for that. And I'm going to be covering those up and making those pretty. And then here's some papers. Oh, here's some scraps. Here's some papers. Um, you know, I've barely touched my sewing, my um, cookbook stash so far, but I did dig a little bit <laughs> and found a few pieces. So this is some stationery. It's a little thin, so I'm going to act, actually just fold this in half and put it into a pocket for someone to write on. You know what I mean? I'm not going to put that in. I'm not putting any thin papers in here because I don't want the holes to tear. So I'm just going to not do that. Uh, I'd rather, you know, if somebody gets this and they want to do that, that's fine. And they can put reinforcements on, things like that. But I just am going to stick with um, cardstock and thicker papers, right? If I at all can, which I, this is pretty thin. So I'm going to, here's a good place for it right here. I'll just stick it right there. Uh, these I want to decorate. Here's a recipe card that I don't think needs to be decorated. Why don't I just stick that in there for now? Here's a little envelope, which I thought was cool. Um, I might stick that in a pocket with something in it. Or I could glue it down as a little flip out, but it's from a... Betty Crocker's step-by-step -step recipe. So that's something I want to do something with. Now this is a piece of paper from a book, a book page, and it is um, very thick. If you can see, it's got a, um, a little bit glossy, but it is a vintage um, depression glass or glassware um, book, but I need to cut it down because it's way too big. So I wanted to work on that. So let's see how we can cut this down. Let me get my template here. This is a page from the book. And we'll see what we can do here. Um, let's see. So I'm just looking at what if I cut. Okay, let me. Usually what I start off with is just cut off the white space. You know what I mean? 
cut off the white space and see what I have left here because I don't really need this white space and I need it to be smaller anyway so <laughs> why not um, okay this part the part at the top I can um, cut this let's see how tall how tall is this see if I make it the whole length of this page it will be right in the middle of this picture but I can cut right under the here and just use this I you know nothing you know we like to have different different size pages in our journals right so this can be one of them so this I have I can make a little a journaling card out of this I can cut this out and back it with some file folder or some type of cardstock like I said I have cardstock here in this little scrapbook kit so I might use some of that and then so this is a little wide but let's just go ahead and punch the holes here let's put it punch it in the top holes so it'll be in the top part here of this binder so we'll punch the holes and we might just make a little fold over then we won't have to cut any more off right so that's just a good way to um, you know figure out how to make your pages smaller so I hope everyone's having a good day I am having a good day it's I'm recording this on Sunday afternoon it'll be published tomorrow on Monday and uh, I had a very good day I worked in my garden and got some of that done I uh, planted some more seeds and I noticed my cucumbers are sprouting yay <laughs> so I've had two seeds sprout so far my tomatoes some tomatoes and let me get my nose here um, tomatoes and cucumbers of course those are the e pretty much the easiest things to grow right but I need to empty this hold on my <laughs> little hole punch is getting overloaded there we go okay Okay, so we've got our holes here. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm having fun with my garden. I planted some more seeds and you know, it's early. So, you know, I have hope for the rest of them to sprout. I watered everything. Uh, I have a wheelbarrow. I have two wheelbarrows that I have used in my garden. And one uh, I've had planted just plants, you know, like just plants, not vegetables. And the other one um, is fairly new. I had it last year, but I didn't plant anything in it. So this year I was like, well, I have this wheelbarrow. I've got to put something in there. So I got some dirt in there and I ended up planting lettuce in it. <laughs> so we'll see how that does. I thought it was a good spot for as far as the sun and everything. You know, not too much sun, not too much shade, hopefully. So there we go. There's, that's nice. So I folded, just folded that over. So that's just a nice page. And then whoever gets this can do what they want. They can actually cut these out and make drawing cards. Use them for decorations. You can fussy cut these out. You know whatever but for right now it's just a pretty page in here and that's cool um and so now next i wanted to add some you know when i was looking for what else i wanted to put in here i looked for pages that can be written on so i'm trying to add one page to each section here uh, this one i got two pieces of scrapbook paper already i see but i want a writing page let's put a writing page in between so we're gonna put one right here and this is um, this is a thicker paper too. It's not real thin. It's not real thick. It's not cardstock, but it's not real thin. And this is from a a, a recipe uh, scrapbook. If you've ever seen those, uh, a recipe scrapbook that I took apart. So we put that other page on the top. So let's put this one on the bottom and punch the holes. We'll add this one. So there was writing space on that index divider card. There was writing space on the large index card and now there's writing space on this uh, let's see yeah here we go uh, yeah it's right side up I was like let's see we put that one on the yeah this one's going on the top, bottom I said did I do that right <laughs> I'm talking too much okay I'm gonna fold this over too even with our pages so it'll be a little fold out writing spot Okay, let's just not let's just uh, turn the pages without closing the binders because we're gonna get over here. Let's see. So here I added the envelope, but no. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I've got. Writing space. Okay, there's some more. I have a, I have a pocket too to add, so I don't want to add a pocket here because I've already got a pocket here and a pocket here and an envelope. So I need writing space here. Because I, you know, originally said uh, a couple of videos ago when I was working on this, I think, or maybe the last one, 
I said um, I would like to, uh, or this can be a cookbook journal or it could be a regular journal, you know, just with a cookbook theme. So let's see. So I need to cut this down. I'm going to have to be brutal on this one because it's way too big. And, um, you know, I hate to, it's pretty like it is, but I, I need to cut it down. So let's see. Let's look at my template again. Yeah, so I'm taking a little rest now <laughs> that I've got all my work done. And, well, I don't have all my work done, but I got my garden done. i take a little rest, and then I'm going to do the, hopefully do some more stuff before it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much stuff to do, and I can't wait till I have Friday off for Good Friday. So <laughs> I can't wait for that. That's going to be nice. It's always nice when I have a day off, right? Try to get caught up, catch my breath type of thing. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, I enjoy it though. I enjoy doing everything. So, yep, I always have been uh, like that. Just enjoy doing everything, right? <laughs> Don't you want to do everything? Okay, so we got it down to the size. I'm going to see what's left here. I tried to center it on this page, so I'm going to see what I got left here. We'll be surprised. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, and this side is it's got the lines, so that's a nice writing space, and then you have a nice writing space over here. And even we even kept recipe four and from the kitchen of, and it says put photo here, or you can just um, do put whatever you want there. So let's punch some holes. I didn't want to do another fold out page. We had those two. We don't need that, you know. We don't need all that many fold out pages, so. There we go. So that's a nice writing space right there. And like I said, it's very thick, like almost cardstocky. It, it really is cardstock, really. It's just uh, not as thick, like not as thick as this, but it's thick. So okay, we got a writing page there, and then here's the end, but we have more writing space here. So another page. Um, this had a different border, so that's why I went ahead and picked out another one. And the things are kind of over on this side, on this page. So I could cut, like, just keep my template over here and cut around that, I think, would be good. And then we have a full, you know, nice full page to be a writing space. So let's do the same thing to this one. And I'm keeping all these scraps here handy, so in case I can use them because uh, they are pretty uh, little scraps you know and some bigger pieces too we'll see I'll go through them after the video and decide whether I want to keep them or not because I don't like to overload myself with scraps but I do to keep the ones I think I can use you know what I mean <laughs> so and I think I can use these I cut off the extra white and then I might be able to make some recipe cards or something with those I think that's what I'll do actually so all right that looks good let's cut our holes make sure everything's in the right upright position here and cut the holes punch the holes and so we have another writing space here's this one that came out nice we've got recipe for from the kitchen up the little oven down here a little plate and a little flower so that's perfect well that's what I wanted I didn't you know I wanted to make sure there were writing spaces in here so let's see what else did I pull out here I got a couple more pieces I've got this and uh, here's the pocket this is from I had a couple of different uh, scrapbook paper scrapbook uh, cookbook binders that I took apart I think that's all that I had pulled out. These two are the last two. Okay, so this one, I'm thinking I can cut it in half this way. And it would be nice. So it's thick paper. It's not really thin paper. It's not cardstock, but it's thick paper. So I'm just going to cut it right here on this fold. Cut a little strip off here. Okay. And so now we have two pieces of paper that can be put in like this. That can be writing paper. Okay, and we've got the little border here. 
there is a little hole here from where it was in the previous binder but i think that's i think that's okay <laughs> i don't think we care about that <laughs> okay let's see where these holes end up i can get all five holes in here and it's not too close to the bottom here that it um you know if it was too close i would move it up or down but i think i can center it here and it's really not too close to the bottom or the top so I'm going to go for it and punch in both those pages at the same time save some time here we're just getting it done today <laughs> all right see what I mean it's not too close to the bottom here and it's not too close to the top almost too close to the top but not really if it was up here I wouldn't have I wouldn't have uh, done it so let's put one of these here oh let's see is this the okay this is the last page okay let me let's go back and see where we need some writing space okay so it's getting a little thicker here that's good yeah see I like everything to be I like to have enough pages in here and then I want to add you know I've already added some details with the little tabs in the pocket but I now added things to the pocket but I like to add details I don't want to just put pages in here and be done I like it to have a lot of special details when I do a well any journal really unless I'm doing a a blank like naked journal so we've got writing space here uh let's see pocket there i've got a lot of pockets in here because i need to add another pocket this other pocket here let's see there's a pocket there but no pocket on this page so we could add this pocket here and i gotta figure out how i want to do that there's a little tab on it here but i need to cut it down it's too big so let's see in order to keep the pocket and the tab we would just basically cut off the part that's too big so because we'll still have this and I don't think it'll be ruined I think it'll be fine so let's go for it and see how it turns out I've got more of these if I destroy it but I think it's going to be fine so we are going for it yeah it's not really um you'll see it's not really going to be even really no really even noticeable that we cut anything off see we still have the curve of our pocket so in order to keep that curve i think that's the most important thing i would want to keep here i need the length to be shorter though so and i think i need to cut off some down here so let's see how far this goes down uh, we're not going to keep most of our tab there so that's okay i've got plenty of tabs but I think it's going to look best if I cut off this bottom extra piece here or a piece that's too long. I wouldn't want to cut it off the top. So let's do that and see how that looks. And see there's that piece and here's what it looks like. Good. Uh, I guess we can leave that tab. Um, if somebody didn't like that, they could cut it off just straight down like I did on the other pages that where the tabs were grungy. It, start, it starts to say miscellaneous, and this the OUS is cut off. I would cut it off, but um, I'm going to leave it for whoever gets it to decide if they want to cut it off. I think I might sew this together right here. So I'm going to do that. But So we're going to put this. Let me go ahead and sew that. I'll be right back. Okay, that was quick and painless. <laughs> so here's our nice big pocket we're going to put in here. Uh, we're going to put some holes in here. Uh, I think I'll put the holes, let's see, if I put the holes on this side, it'll be like that, so that'll be fine. We have the little tab, so let's get our, get our holes going here. And let's see, I'm going to try, yeah, I won't really be, I won't be punching through that thread, so that's good. <laughs> I was just wondering just now, when I put this on here, am I going to punch through the, through the uh, thread? But I am not, it's going to be right above it right there and there okay okie dokie that is cool right I love it <laughs> that's awesome uh, so that'll be fun for to stick some things in there and for whoever gets this it'll be fun Okay, it's a little tight on the holes. Let me see. It flips good. Yeah, it flips. Okay, good, good. We're doing good. All right. These two, um, 
when I close it, they don't want to go in the right spot, so I just push it together. Um, these two go right, these three go right in the right spot. This one wasn't doing that, I didn't think, but I guess it is. So, yeah, I just, you know, push them up together so the pages flip nicely. And then, so we have these two, we, we put that in there. We have, uh, let's put a writing spot here too, because we have that index divider card, but not actually in a, any paper. So we've got, let's see, let's put it, let's put it right here. Piece of this paper. It's the same on both sides. I think, did we put it up or down? Oh, we put it, it fit all five holes, that's right. See, and then I just have to go like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to, that's our first section. So let's go over a couple sections. Do we have writing paper here? Oh, we don't have writing paper here. Well, we need one right here, don't we? Let's see, let's put it on the other side of this. I guess we put this in, but we didn't put any writing paper here. So let's put writing paper here. And then we'll have a writing paper in each section. And then I'm going to dig through through, through my uh, stuff, my cookbook stash, and uh, see what else, what other pages I might want to put in here. Let's, let me see how thick it is getting. I don't want to overdo it, but I want it to be full. Yeah, I think I've got some room in there still. Yep. I might uh, go ahead and stick uh, the journal cards in here because that thickens it up. Uh, you know, it makes it like twice as big as it is now once you get uh, drawing cards and tags and things in here. So I might go ahead and do that next and then uh, add pages. That might be the good thing to do so I don't overstuff it, you know what I mean? So I hope you enjoyed today. That was fun for me and I hope it was fun for you. Let me put this down. There we go. All right, so that's where I'm at and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.